I'd like to, uh, to thank everyone for coming today, uh, coming down to Joe Louis Arena for this announcement. Uh, today, after uh, 20 seasons as a player for the Detroit Red Wings, I'm announcing my retirement. Uh, before I get into uh, thanking everyone, I'd like to make a few comments about uh, retiring. At some point in time, catches up with everyone and diminishes their ability to perform. Something you love and care about passionately comes to an end sooner than what you would have liked. The last few years, I waited until after the season was over to assess my ability to play another year. I need to let, my, I need to let a few weeks go by to get a reading on my body's ability to recover from the grind of an NHL season. Sadly this year, it's painfully obvious to me that my strength and energy level are not rebounding enough for me to continue to play. My drive and motivation are not where it needs to be to play at this level. That's why I feel that it's time to retire. I'm aware of that some people think that my skills have only diminished some and that I can still help the Wings win games. I, I truly appreciate their support. When I signed with the Wings back in 91, I never envisioned myself playing for 20 years. It's been a great, great ride. The Red Wings drafted me back in uh, 1989, uh, and uh, uh, hundreds of players and, and people, coaches, have been part of my success, and, and I never thought this would ever come to something like this, that I would be able to be part of Stanley Cup cha championships, winning Norris trophies and, and having parades through downtown Detroit, uh, something I never even th thought about. I'd like to thank uh, some of the people that are here. I can't thank everyone that I play with and been part of, of my career. It's press conference is not that long, but uh, I'd like to mention a few people that's, that's been part of, uh, of my uh, career here in the, in the, with the Detroit. I'd like to start with Mr. and Mrs. I and Chris Illich, the ownership of the Red Wings, for their support over the years, over 20 years, their passion for the game. Just they're, they're willing to, to invest and put everything that they have in their product to get something good on the ice and try to win at the end. They've been tremendous owners, uh, great support for me and my family, and, and I'm truly thankful what they've done for us. I'd like to thank uh, Kenny, uh, Jim Neal, Jimmy DeVallano, and Ryan Martin for their support over the years. Uh, they've always tried to put a good product on the ice and always telling me that we're going to do whatever we can to win another championship. And Kenny and I have had some uh, what he calls fire, fireside chats where uh, <laughs> I, I've told him this probably started uh, maybe 10 12, 14 years ago that uh, I, I do have an agent, so I'm not, uh, I'm not willing to negotiate with you, but uh, he said this is not a negotiation. We're just going to sit down and chat and talk, and uh, he laid out his game plan and, and his sales pitch, and uh, now Kenny worked every time. You know, I never, never even wanted to leave Detroit. I always believed in this team and this organization and what they could do to, to win another Stanley Cup. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I'd like to thank some of the coaches I've had over the years. Um, starting in Sweden, when I uh, was 16, I moved away from home, and I got a coach named uh, Per Mortz that uh, took care of me and I uh, think started guiding me in the right direction to become a, a solid hockey player. He now is the coach for the, the Swedish national team. Kurt Lundmark was another coach that I've had uh, growing up, especially in junior hockey, that guided me as well in the right direction. Ben Gustafson was another coach I had in 2006 Olympics when we had a chance to, to win the gold medal. He was also a, a, for, a, a player a friend as well when we won the, the world championships in 91. I'd like to thank Brian Murray for uh, being my first coach in NHL and kind of getting me in the door and, and giving me an opportunity to play over here. Uh, he partnered with me with uh, Brad McCrimmon my first year and we played every game together. So I'm very thankful for what Brian did for me early on in my career. Scotty Bowman came in and, and I think took my game to another level. He gave me a lot of uh, confidence by playing me a lot, getting me out on the ice, and really pushing me to, to become a better player. And that gave me a ton of confidence to, to succeed and, and excel my career and, and the way I was playing. Alongside uh, Dave Lewis and...